All right, one more video here from Geometry 1111. I want to look at page 30. We just talked about the postulate uh, 20, or theorem, theorem 20, the measure of an exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of the measures of the two remote angles. And we just did a video explaining what that means and illustrating it, and hopefully that will help you do some of the problems here, one, two, even three, four, five. If you didn't watch the video, go back and watch that. I think that will help you do three, four, and five. Let's talk about number six, though, and I'm going to give you just a tip that I think will really help, okay? On number six, they tell us that, number one, these two lines are parallel, okay? And then they give us the value of angle one, all right? So measure of angle one right here is 80 degrees. Let's mark that. They tell us that this angle in here Measure 5 is, let me make sure I have it right, 50 degrees, okay? And then we are asked to find measure 2, 3, 4, and 6, okay? So let's see, what, what do we know by looking at this, okay? Um, <clears throat> if this is... 80 degrees, how many degrees will this angle, um, well, we don't know that. Okay, we can figure out angle, angle six out here, okay? Let's do that first. Angle, this is 50 degrees, how many degrees will it equal out here? All right, because it equals a straight line. And once you put that in, Okay, um, then that will also help us figure out how many degrees angle 3 is because we have two parallel lines. And I think we have a theorem that says that the two angles on the inside, okay, on the same side of this intersecting line right here, have to add up to something. Or you could look at this and say if this is 50 and this is on the other side, they are alternate um, interior angles. Sometimes that helps to extend these lines. So you see, oh, okay, I have two parallel lines and I have a line going this way. So if this is 50 degrees, then I know what that is, okay? So there's a couple ways of figuring out this one. Once we know this angle, uh, and we figured out six. We did six and three. Now, what do all three of these have to add up to? Do you see that? This plus two plus three adds up to a straight line, okay? So now we can add these two, subtract from the 180, and you know two. Now we're going to use that new, well, once you know that, you could look at this and say, okay, I have three angles inside the triangle, okay? Or once you know this angle, and you know this angle, you could say, okay, this two plus four have to equal this number six out here, because this is the exterior angle, and the measure of the exterior angle equals the sum of the two remote interior angles, and that would be two and four. Those are remote interior compared to number six, okay? Um, there's probably some other ways. I'm just looking at this and my mind is going, thinking, okay, these are remote interior angles to whatever. All right. You can, uh, I think we've given you enough clues. I don't want to do this problem for you. I know you want me to do it for you, but I am not going to go any further with this. I think we've given enough clues that you can figure out and then from there use what you know and solve for all of these angles. The proof at the bottom of the page actually looks uh, like it shouldn't be too bad. They give you all the statements. All you have to come up with are the reasons. All right, hope you do well.